Taking a quick look at the new advanced multi-touch patent, just some of the gestures and what they call chords, which are different ways of holding your fingers that it can recognize in all different crazy combinations. So we'll take a look at the, the chords first. So with basic multi or basic trackpads, you have you know the one finger touch. That's standard, and then with basic multi-touch, you get into things like two fingers, and then three fingers, and all that. What this introduces is uh, being able to recognize things like non-adjacent fingers, how you're holding your fingers. So there's, yeah, show them the, a thumb and a non-adjacent finger. There we go. And then if you were to hold your, your, your palm up against the side and then use your pinky, you could adjust the, the volume up and down, for example. We don't know why you'd want to do this instead of just using a, a volume button or any uh, easier to, rem to remember multi-touch control, but hey, it's in the patent. So, and then from there, with each of these chords, you can assign a different action. So you could do a two-finger up scroll would be, you know, expose all. And then uh, two, you could do three-finger down would be dashboard, while th uh, three or four-finger down could be something entirely different, like volume down or close application or anything like that. Okay. And then in addition to uh, the standard pinch and zoom you're probably used to from the iPhone and newer MacBooks uh, with the, the pinch and zoom, uh, you can do three finger pinch and zoom, four finger pinch and zoom, you can uh, presumably do non-adjacent finger pinch and zoom. We have no idea how they're de detecting this stuff, but it's right here in the patent, so we're going to go ahead and believe it. 